Welcome to our 5 on 5. We're pleased to be joined by combat veterans and filmmakers Dan Egbert and Doc King with uh, Project 22. Gentlemen, thanks for being here today. Thanks, thanks so, much so much for having us. us. All right, so Doc, let me start with you. Uh, you guys are two veterans, as I mentioned, with a mission and a very important one. What exactly are you guys working on? Uh, we're trying to show what's possible after, after combat and after trauma in, in somebody's life. Um, post-traumatic growth versus post-traumatic stress and, and really the, the holistic alternatives that are out there to, to take your life back and, and start your healing. Okay, and, and why, Dan, Project 22? How'd that name come about? It started from a, uh, uh, the VA statistic in 2013 that 22 veterans are taking their lives every day. Mm. Um, and it, we both had our personal struggles um, once we transitioned out of the military. And um, it got pretty dark for us, and we just decided that we had to do something about it. Okay, and, and Doc, you guys, you guys did a ride today on some Harleys out to the SORCC. Tell us about yeah. what you guys did today. That's been one of the great things about this project is the, the local happenings around it. Veterans, um, providers, nonprofits, uh, media coming together around the project to raise awareness and get it out. Um, so here we were uh, a part of a screening hosted at The Source, um, sponsored by uh, Southern Oregon Public Television and, and a few local business sponsors. Um, but we had a ride from DNS Harley down there and... Uh, um, it's just, it's amazing to come out and see the the local things that are going on, and we learn something from every every screening that we are able to attend. Mm -hmm. and, and for people who, who want to see the documentary, Dan, what what should they do? How would how would they reach out and see it? Or are there screenings? Where can they go? Yeah, it's 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 incredibly easy. Um, our there's a website for distribution. It's uh, tugg dot com, tug dot com, and on there, if you search Project Twenty Two, you can set up a screening for your community uh, in three easy steps. Other than that, um, we want every veteran to see this as, mm -hmm. as, as fast as possible. Um, if you know a veteran that's struggling, if you know a veteran that wants to see it but maybe can't get to a theater that's showing it in the area, um, if you email us at medicinalmissions at gmail.com, then we'll send you the film. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah. Very cool. All right, we're going to take a quick break, guys. Much more in a moment. Stay with us. Welcome back to our 5 on 5. Again, you're here with combat veterans and filmmakers Dana Egbert and Doc King. We're talking about PTSD and, and the film you guys made to, to help veterans and their families deal with this. What advice, Doc, uh, would you give to veterans who are dealing with PTSD? Um, I would say just start doing some research first. Information is one of the most powerful tools that we have. Um, and a lot of the challenges that we experience as veterans, we can overcome with the right approach. Um, but we just don't understand where those challenges are coming from. I would say just start looking at the symptoms, start, start researching and, and figure out what's going on and then you can figure out a plan to approach it from there. Mm -hmm. And you remember that you have a community and a family yeah. probably that is there to support you through it. So Sure, and, and yeah. it sounds like, Dan, you, you guys are really adamant that, that families of veterans should see this film as well. Yeah, that's a huge, a huge step in, in your healing too, is making your story something intelligible, making something that um, can bridge the gap in understanding. Um, and we found, we didn't, we didn't set out to uh, accomplishes. We didn't really know it was going to happen, but the film is actually doing that. It's bridging that gap and allowing the veteran to feel like his family finally understands, and for him to open up to them. So it's it. We're yeah, we're wildly uh, adamant about mm -hmm. the family seeing this and the family understanding their veteran. Okay, and so we, you guys, just did the screening earlier today at the VA facility mm -hmm. in, in White City. Uh, what where where else can they see the film? Doc? Well, it's showing next Monday here, uh, Southern Oregon and Northern California on. Uh, uh, Southern Oregon Public TV. That's next Monday at nine o'clock. Um, and I also wanted to mention that uh, nonprofits and treatment centers can have a free copy of the film. Um, all they have to do is go to our website, medicinalmissions.com, and contact us through the the through the uh, contact form, mm -hmm. and uh, we'll send that out to them. Very good, gentlemen. Thank you for what you're doing. Thank, thank you, you very so much, much for your service as well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Stay with us. We'll be right back.